Hi, I'm Rebecca Bran, and this is my FlexiSpot XS4 Power Recliner Sofa Couch. Not only does this sofa recline, but it massages me and it heats me on a cold winter's night. And one thing really important about sofas in today's buying environment is one that has a lot of cush, but one that's not gonna flatten down with repeated sitting. This has the perfect cushion inside that's firm, yet will not deteriorate and get flat. Watch out for the kids because they might want to bounce all over it. It's got a bounce factor too. FlexiSpot has made it with the perfect height that's comfortable to get up and down. It's not too low. It's easy to stand up too. It has a clearance to the edge of just over a foot. You can see because I'm right behind it. Check this out as it's reclining right now. That's the motion of the recline. Now look at how the front pulls out in front of you. Just stretch out your legs and elevate them so you can rest with total comfort with the way it reclines so far. Each one of these sections has the same excellent back lumbar support when it's in the upright position. It feels great. It's filling up my entire back with the cushion with just enough given it so I'm fully supported all the way up to my head and my neck. And it's a full six feet, eight inches long and what that means is even the tallest of people can do the side lounge on it too. It's not just for reclining, it's for everything like a sofa will do in your home. It's so comfortable and the armrest is not hard. It's soft like a pillow, yet firm enough to hold your head up or rest your arm very comfortably. And check out this feature. The center section pulls out so you can put a beverage or your hot cocoa right in the center with enough room to serve your family snacks on top. The perfect place to relax, to watch your favorite movie and to recline and relax in style. Oh. And imagine having your loved ones with you while you watch your show. You can both recline the way you like it. Maybe someone wants to be less reclined you have that control. You can stop or start it wherever you want. This is the on and off button for power. Here's an auto massage button. It's going to give you massages pre-programmed. So with it on and you turn the thigh on, you can just have your thigh on. And if you click it again, you turn it off. The same for the lumbar. That's the middle of your back. That massage can go on or off. And as well as your back, the full upper back, on or off. And if you want all three on, you just press all three lights. And here you have your intensity. It's on medium now. This would be high intensity, low intensity, and that's medium. And for mode button, you press that once and it will change. You can see what it's getting, a little bit of each with intervals in between. Press it again for M1 and it gives your entire body the vibration and intervals. M2, mode two, is a continuous vibration that will go up and down your body in a fluid feeling. The next icon with the flames coming above is the heating button. You press that to get the heat on. Below that, you have the intensity of the heat. M1 is lowest, M2 medium intensity, and M3 is the highest of the heating intensities by pressing the thermometer button. And if you want a timer, you press the clock button. You can set it for 15, 30, or 60 minutes. And below the hand rests are places you can put books or magazines or reading glasses, as the case may be. When you're watching TV, the sound is very gentle of the massaging, so it's not going to disturb you listening to your favorite TV show or movie. The massage feeling is gentle. It doesn't grab you and hurt you. Even at the highest intensity, you can feel the vibration and the massage in a soothing way. And with the heating element, it's wonderful because you might be in a cold room. You may not want to heat your whole house and have an electric bill that's out of sight. The heating here will make your whole body warm right where you're at. It's a very efficient way to stay warm in the wintertime. I have this very rectangle living room. I put my FlexiSpot XS4 power recliner sofa against the rail. 
with only 11 inches of clearance. That was enough. And on each of the sides, there's charging ports. There's one USB-A port and one USB-C per side. I wanted to be right in front of my fireplace. It's where I like to hang out and just relax during the winter. But my television is also right above it. So this was the perfect space for me to be totally comfortable enjoying my living room. And this room is the most popular place in my couch because of my fireplace and my TV. And my Flexispot XS4 sofa couch is in the most popular place of my house for my family to enjoy. I'd recently redone my room. If you know me from my channel, you'll know I redid the fireplace and the fireplace doors and my flooring. So it was time to get a new sofa couch. So finding this electric recliner sofa that has massage and heat from one of my favorite companies, Flexispot, was such a find. And I can share my comfort with one or two other people because it seats a full three. But I'm Queen Bee, so I'm always gonna take the side with the massage and heat. That's my throne in my living room. When you order your Flexispot XS4, it arrives to your door in four boxes. I put them in front of my garage, just so you can see them all laid out. And on each one of the boxes, it shows you the pieces you're gonna get inside. That was really helpful, so I knew what to be looking for in each one of these boxes. Some of them were different sizes. That was helpful. It was great to see the illustrations right outside the boxes. So I opened up the boxes, and everything inside was packed really well and wrapped really well so that nothing would get damaged during shipping. I like that because of the plastic and all the ways they packaged it with the styrofoam. Everything was well protected. And right in the box were the user manuals. That was great. And there was this little box. In that box will be some parts. I took the boxes away and I put the pieces on my driveway wrapped in plastic and kept everything perfectly new and clean during the shipping. There they are, all laid out in front of my garage. Now for the parts. I took all of them together and laid them out on my wood floor in my living room so you could see everything you get. This is what you're going to be using to assemble. It's a quick assembly, but you'll need all these different things. We see some electrical cords, some connections, a few bolts, washers, fastening plates, and zip ties, and of course the remotes. And then I put all the pieces right in front of the area I was going to assemble it at without the plastic. Then I flipped them over because I wanted you to see the underside. There is nothing cheap about the way Flexispot has designed its reclining sofa couch. Here are some examples of that workmanship. Here's the interior metal frame. With the I was impressed just looking at it before we put together how everything was well done. And this is how we put together the Flexispot XS4 power recliner sofa couch. Now all of these pieces you see here are for the left side of your Flexispot recliner couch. This is the armrest. This large piece is the base. This is the backrest. And these pieces here are all the electronics and the remote control and everything so that the massage and the heating factors work with your sofa couch. The armrest has these inserts that are gonna go into the seat inserts. We see the seat inserts here right on the bottom of the seat. And this is how easy it is to put them in. And as they fit in, then you're gonna slide it all the way down till it clicks like this. And I'm turning the sideways so you can get a better view of how I'm gonna put the seat back onto the seat. Underneath this flap are the backrest inserts for the backrest rail to go into. So I'm flipping it around and I'm gonna line it up. One side in, the other side in. And I'm gonna pull these wires out so they're available for the back and one push. And it clicked in easily, it fits great. The backrest is now connected to the base to make the combination. And here we see all the connectors. There's some here on the chair and there's some below right here. Let's hook them up. Here's a power source and it has two different ends to it because one's for the left side and one's for the right side of your recliner sofa. The electrical insert, you can identify it because one side's a blade and one side's a prong and it fits perfectly into the receiver like so. And then I clip down the back for a good strong hold. 
it's nice to have the safety catch. And we're gonna save the power hookup to last after we have the whole recliner put together. These buttons are for the base footrest controls. And this is the plug for that. That comes out of the bottom here. And we have to plug this in to this wire at the bottom. And so I'm doing that. And it again, has a safety catch. Snaps right on. Now here's a power cord. It's for the heating element. And it's gonna plug right into this knob here. So connect it. And the base connects to the top part with this white to white connection here. And the last remaining plug-in is for the remote control. So plug that in and press in tight. There you have it. And this is the power source. So you're going to plug in the two-hole insert into the two prongs on the back. And this is the two-prong 120-volt access plug that goes into any North American normal household outlet. So in the end, you'll have two power cords to plug in for both the left side and the right side of your power recliner sofa couch. So behind my couch, I'll just place a power strip. It's just the easiest way to plug it in and it'll be hidden in the back. It took me less than 10 minutes to put this together. I wanna to test it to see if it's all working on this one side. Yeah, I'm feeling the massage, it's lighting up. Success, now let's put the rest of it together. And putting the right side together was a snap too. Now all that's left is putting the center section in. So we have the base and we have the backrest here. Let me show you how they go together. So with the back with the flap, that's gonna be on the back of your chair, we're gonna line the insert into to its receiving end. We're gonna put the back in with the alignment rails so you wanna know where the flap is. So I'm lining it up and sliding it in one side and here's the other side until it clicks. And now it's time to put them all together. So I'm just moving it around. So for the next part, you'll need your two mounting plates for one side of it. You'll have your, the bolts, the washers, and the nuts, and they give you an Allen wrench and a flat wrench to assemble it. In the assembly box, they give you zip ties, and this is what they're for. So when you put in the nuts and bolts, you don't need a third hand. It'll hold it up and it aligns it, allowing me to put the nuts and bolts where they're needed. So with a flat wrench, I put a nut. I'm gonna slip this underneath, right there, and I'm gonna aim, shoot, and fire the bolt and the washer right in there. I've tightened as tight as I can, and now I'm putting the Allen wrench in, and I'm gonna twist the Allen wrench to get it really tight like that. And I did the other one in the same way. I'm just tightening it up and finishing it off. There we go. So I've done two sets of the nuts and bolts for my joining plate. Back mounting plate done. We don't need this anymore, so I'm cutting it off. And to do that, I'm going to have to lift this up, put it on here, and put bolts in it. Let me show you how to do that. So with a bolt and a washer, I've already put one side in. I put it up on its side so I had easy access to this part. And inside, there is already a pre-threaded insert that I'm putting the bolt into. So you can easily twist it with your hand to get it started. And I'm finishing up with twisting in with the Allen wrench until it's very tight. Just like that. And I'm doing the top bolt too. Three rotations and it's in. We've done the front joining plate. Now it's time to do the back joining plate right there. I wanna show you what the underneath looks like with all the joining plates attached. This is how it looks on the underbelly, the underside, when it's completely assembled. Just in case you wanna look at this when you put yours together, this is what it should look like when it's completely assembled. This is a close up of one of those joining plates. And just as I put the center section on to the right side of the couch, I did the same for the left side in the very same manner. And look it, here it is all together. It only took about a half an hour to assemble the FlexiSpot recliner sofa couch. And now it's finished being assembled. Isn't that beautiful? It only took about 30 minutes to do this whole project by myself. The fabric is so soft and so durable, it's not gonna show stains, it's stain resistant. And the feel is cozy whether you have on the heat or not. It is such a beautiful, luxurious look and stylish for my living room. 
It's just marvelous. Click the link below to get your FlexiSpot XS4 Power Recliner Sofa Couch. It's perfect for cuddling up on a cold winter's night. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Brand. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of my next video. And let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's recipe is for beautiful comfort in your home. See you next time. I think I'm going to go down for a long winter's nap right here. So kisses goodnight. It's time for my nap. If you like this video, here's more we're there on home decor. Just click.